Hey again, it's Daniel here. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a new campaign in Git Response. Um, they're pretty much similar to most email um, order responders, but I'm just going to go over how to set up a new campaign in uh, Git Response. So you're in the dashboard here in Git Response. Just get rid of these. And the first thing you want to do is go up to the gear icon or next to the gear icon and onto the drop down menu you're going to go create campaign and when you come to the campaign name uh, pretty much it's all got to be lowercase uh, and once you figure out a campaign name and it hasn't been used by anybody else it will actually let you know whether it's available or not. So I'm just going to do a quick so see if that's available and we create a new campaign around this name. As you see the name must be three to four characters out of there. So that will give you an example that you can have uh, uppercase, so it's all going to be lowercase, so that gives you a quick example um, how it will be actually, what is actually accepted and what isn't accepted. So once you've completed that, you will just go to edit your campaign settings. And pretty much this can be all left as it is, but you can turn this off. These are notifications, that's if you want to be notified by email for every subscriber, new subscriber that you have on your list. Uh, I suppose if you're just starting out, you'd, you'd keep it on, but after a while you'd, you'd probably get annoyed with it, um, getting subscribers email notifications over and over again. But if you're just starting out, you can leave that on, otherwise, yeah, I'll turn that off. And when it comes down to the profile, this is pretty much for your own references, uh, for your campaign title and category. You can edit the categories here and put it. Uh, whichever your campaign that you're actually after, whatever industry or uh, niche you're actually in, you can actually put the actual category down here. So this is just more personal preference than anything else. And you can add a logo and so forth. Uh, the main thing is for the is the permission settings. Uh, if you do not want to have a double opt-in, which is pretty much 95% of the time you just go for the single opt-in, unless you're going to another campaign and you specifically want the double opt-in, uh, you need to turn off these particular settings here. Uh, so they don't have a double opt-in activated. So you need to deactivate these three uh, boxes here and that will turn off the automatic double opt-in activation within Get Response. And that's how you just choose your reply address, email that the customer will reply to. So you have your verified email address here and it, well, once it, you confirm this it automatically gets saved and then your campaign is actually complete and then you can start running uh, uh, receiving leads uh, email subscriptions to this particular campaign once you've set the campaign or you've actually integrated it with one of your landing pages so hopefully this is a basic run through in about creating a new campaign and get responses actually is happy in some way uh, just a basic overview of how you can create a new campaign okay this is daniel uh hopefully this has helped you uh if you're just getting started with get response uh if it answered any of your questions or your 
uh, solving your problems that you're having up uh, setting up with your new uh, campaigns. This is Daniel signing off. I'll uh, we'll catch you again. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.